if you think creating calendars for your planners and journals or for personal and office use can be very time consuming and tasking, well, maybe this tutorial will make you think otherwise. Hey everyone, it's me, Jet. And uh, today we're going to create two calendars using a script called Calendar Wizard and another one which we'll be doing manually and uh, without any scripts at all. So stick around till the very end and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and also the notification bell so you don't miss any tutorials like this. Now let's go to my screen. Okay, so these are the calendars that we are making today. A yearly calendar monthly calendar and another calendar from scratch uh, it's simple clean and easy to create so first we'll be creating this yearly calendar it's very fast and easy and uh, once you get used to it oh man i won't be surprised if you'll be making calendars all day to sell or as a giveaway or whatever so first and foremost you need to download the calendar wizard this one here it's free and i will put the link below as to where you can download it and just follow the instructions on where to install it and once you've installed the script, it will show up um, on your scripts window here in, in InDesign. So like this one. If you cannot see your scripts here, just go to Window, Utilities, and Scripts. So now that we have it, go ahead and create a new document. Click File, New, Document. So let's do letter size for this tutorial. And I like my margins to be uh, 0.5 inches or half an inch or 12.7 millimeters all around. So this way, if I want to send it to a printer and have them bind it, I don't have to worry about text cutting off the edges, but you can always set your own margins to whatever is needed. Okay, moving on, just click okay. This is where the magic is going to start happening. Click on calendar wizard. A window like this will open and this is where you will set all your calendar elements. For the basic um, settings here, first month will be January, of course, and the year you can set it to uh, whatever year you're making this. Maybe you're watching this in 2025 already, I don't know, but for now, we do 2020 and the last one should be December. Now let's go through these common settings. Language, you can set it to whatever you like. Let's leave it in English. For the weekday heading style, you can choose just the first letter of the day or the first three letters, which is common, or the full one. I'd like to do this one. And week starts on either Sunday, Monday, or Saturday. Let's do Sunday. And this one's here. I don't really mess around so much for this um, calendar. So, but, but feel free to experiment on this. It depends on what you want to have in your calendar. Next is the page settings down here. For this yearly calendar, we need 12 months. So we choose 12. And for the page, we will be using the current document. So that's it. This is pretty much what we did. The other settings here, you can try next time. So now click OK, and it will create all the months for you. Ta-da! How's that for fast and easy? Mm. Now all we have to do is uh, make this prettier than it already is. So if you notice, it's still working. So if you notice, there are texts that don't fit the boxes. Well, we can change that easily too. I'll just um, zoom this for you. This in. There you go. Now you can see these dots here. It means that um, there are it doesn't fit the box. So we have 12 errors here, so we need to change that. So um, make the fonts smaller so it will fit the boxes. There's a very, very easy way in doing this. So just go to Paragraph Styles. If you don't have the Paragraph Styles, just go to Window again and click on Styles and uh, click Paragraph Styles. So once you have it, you will see this window. To change our title font, we use Cal Title here. Double click on that and click basic character formats. This is where you can change your font settings. So for this calendar, I would like to use Avenir Next Condensed and see that um, if you notice when you change the font or the font style, since I have it on preview, I can see the look of it right away. So the font style will be just regular and the size probably say about nine. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's too small for us, so we'll do maybe 12, all right? And if you have to change the color of the font, just go to character color down here, and you can change the color to whatever you want. It will change it later to white, just to hit OK. Now for the day, we use Cal Day. Double click it again and go to basic character formats, and we're gonna use the same font. And for this, 
it's going to be a little bit smaller. There you go. See here, it, it changes right away. Hit OK and that's done. So you, the beauty of this is you don't have to click every month to set all these changes. Just use the paragraph styles. And you can also change the calendar font and size for this one. So just go ahead and go to basic character formats again. And the same thing. And I have it um, 10 or 11, uh, 9. Okay. And hit OK. So there you go. If you scroll, all right, we have no more errors. Okay, so we, you can stop here if you want. Now, same with changing the color of our table or cell, except we will use the cell styles instead of paragraph styles because we'll be changing the cell settings. And I'm referring to this part. This, this, these are called cells, right? And if you don't see the cell settings, which is, I have it here on mine. If you don't see this one, just go ahead and go to window and then styles and then cell styles here. So to change the color of our title background, just click cow title here and go to strokes and fills and cell fill. So maybe we do pink now. You, see, you can see it changed colors and just click OK. And also I wanted to change the background colors of my day. What you do is click the cow day and go to strokes and fills again. And the color would be mm, black, but I have to change the tint of my color to something like tin. The tin is like the opacity of your background. And just hit OK. There we go. Now that's beautiful as well as fast and easy, eh? Oh, we forgot to change the um, color again to white. So just go back to paragraph styles and cow title. Go to character color, click white and hit OK. Now there you have it. Easy and fast. Now on to the second calendar. We will be using the same calendar wizard. We'll put graphics and shapes like this and mini calendars too, like this one. I will zoom it for you so you can see. There we go. There we have December 2019 here in January and February. Okay, go to File, New Document. We'll do letter or whatever size you want. Now on the margin before we used a 0.5 and um, all around, right? But now we'll do um, 0.5 for the bottom, the inside and the outside. So we just click this one so it doesn't um, affect everything. So 0.5 inches on the inside, outside and the bottom part of our margin. But the top, I want it to be 4.5 inches. I'll show you why in a second and then hit OK. This is what you want to achieve. So um, this part here will be our graphics. And this part, we are telling the calendar wizard to have the calendar here on this margin only. If you don't tell the calendar wizard where to put the calendar, it will create a new document. So this way we're telling it to have the calendar within this margin. Now go ahead and click uh, scripts, calendar wizard, by the way, it's not calendar wizard classic, but calendar, just calendar wizard. And same thing we did on our first calendar last month would be December and language English weekday heading style I want it mid sun and starts on Sunday now here's another thing we also want mini calendars to right from uh, the ones that we have on the left and right of the title so here in grid options you can choose the calendar title month and year whatever you like and check this mini calendar here include mini calendars so you can uh, choose the mini calendar title month or month and year if you want month only for the title that's okay or month and year that's also fine so let's just do month and max rows in mini calendars i just use auto so include weekday or whatever you want if you want to highlight sundays then you can do so so and that's it for this grid settings now in page settings <clears throat> last time we did 12 per page right now we just do one we just need uh, one month for each page. So just uh, do click one here and don't forget to change the page to current document. Then hit OK. Now it will just create all the months in the year. So now that it's finished populating our page, this is what we come up with. Now tell me you're not impressed. Uh, all the way to December. I'll show you the midi calendars. So we have our December or January and our February. Now we can also change the fonts and the background color of this, like what, how we did in our last calendar. It's up to you. For now, let's do the other stuff. For that shape tool, let's choose 
this rectangle or circle, whatever you want, whichever your preference, and drag it across the page like so. Maybe like this. Then change the background color to whatever you want, say black, uh, say black. and um, since I want to write something in it, I've changed the tint to about 10. I have a grayish color here, which I can write. If I print it, I can write on it, and it's still legible. For the graphics, it's preferable to have a PNG format. So that means that its background is transparent, and not white, but transparent, so that it won't overlap any elements on your page. And there are many ways of placing an image or graphic in InDesign. One is you can use the Rectangle Frame tool here, like this one, for example. It like this. Drag it to wherever you want your image to be. And now press Command-D, like this. or you can also uh, go to file and then place, then look for your image, then hit OK. So for example, I have it in my elements and then let's be positive, that one. As you can see, our image is bigger or larger than our placement tool. So what you can do is resize to fit the box. So all you have to do is right click on the box, go to fitting and fit content proportionally. There we go. Or you can also hit um, option command E and it will be centered right away in the box. Another way is to just locate the image and drag it onto InDesign. Like if you know where your image is, for example, just drag it and click it anywhere. And now if it's big, you can resize it the way you want it. So you can also do this and then um, uh, hit Option Command E or the same thing that we did before, like right click and click fitting and fit content proportionally. So that's done. So uh, all you have to do is uh, do the other months and you're finished. And if you want to change the colors of the title here, uh, if you want to change the font face or the font size of your um, dates and day, you can also do that. Just, um, just use the paragraph styles and the cell styles, just like what we did on the first calendar. Now on to the next calendar. We will be creating this one manually. That means no wizard. Maybe you like it better than the wizard. So let's find out. So for this, create a new document, letter, here, letter, and for this, the orientation mode would be landscape. You can use whatever margins you want, and then hit OK. First thing would be the rectangle, this one here. So now go ahead, click your rectangle, and drag it across the page, however big you want it. All right, then change the color, whatever color you want. Now click your type tool, and you can change the size and the uh, font face. And the color, I also wanted uh, white. So just click the color. Now just flip it around like so, and drag it across the blue. So great. let's resize this, and then I put it wherever you want. All right, I think that's good enough. Now we can copy and paste this. We'll be doing this 01 text here. So just do 01, and flip it back. We'll do this, centering it. You can change the size of this to maybe 100. Resize this and center it. I think that's okay. Now it's time to create a calendar. So let's use the type tool again. Yes, one of the many uses of type tool is its ability to create tables. So click the type tool and drag it across the page. However big your calendar you want it to be, then just go ahead, click table, insert table. And we want seven rows and seven columns. So just enter the number here and hit OK. So now it's time to design the calendar. So highlight the table and you can change the thickness of the lines. Just choose however thick you want the lines to be. I want this 0.5 so it's not too thick. And the first row will have the days. So I want this bigger than this one. So I just drag it down across whatever size you want. And then the last row, just drag it all the way down to the margin. There you go. And I want this row here, the second row, up to the last row to be equally sized. So just highlight them, then right click and click distribute rows evenly. And there it is. Now to change the color of this and the font face and the size of the text that you will be, you will be putting here, we need to do some changes. So first, we need the background color here. So just highlight the whole row, change it to whatever color you want. And it's still highlighted, so we can change the font size and also the font face. I want it the same as my title, and then I want it centered. So if I type on it, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There you go. And for the rest of the cells here, 
I want the text to be on the upper right corner of the cell or the box here. I want it to be on this um, corner. So we'll do the same, highlight this thing and change maybe the font into tiny one, maybe 10. And then we choose a line right. There we go. Now for the notes section. This is easier. Guess which tool we're going to use. Dun, dun, dun. You write text tool again. Click the text tool, drag it all the way here. And go to table, insert table, and maybe five rows, and just one column. And then hit OK. And we want this again to have thickness of 0.5. And just write this. And right click and distribute rows evenly. So now if we go to preview, we have it like this. I don't know about you, but I don't like this borders here. So what we're going to do is just highlight this one. and. Click this, the bottom line, the middle line too. And then for the border color, just click none. So what it just did is the upper, the right and the left uh, borders are transparent. So you won't see it. There you go. Now you have your notes page and you can always put something here. You can change also the font to whatever font face you want and done. See, not as fast as the wizard, but you can still design beautiful ones. All right, we've just created three different calendars. Let me know in the comments below which one you like most and why. And if you have any tips and tricks uh, around this subject, please don't be shy to share it. If you like this video, just give it a like. And if you also haven't subscribed, just hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell as well, so you don't miss any tutorials like this. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.